<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ah, shoot. Some mother's man's junk was my treasure. <laughs> I, I, all the time. I find people's junk all the time and making it my treasure. <laughs> Loki, you a little excited? Huh? <laughs> he hasn't stopped moving since he got out of the truck. There's Harley. She's gonna gather some cows a day. Loki, you are crazy. There's Trigger and, and Classy, Troy's RKR horse. And there's Vixen. So I'm dropping off the guys here in the very south pasture. They're gonna drive from here and I'm gonna go drive to the middle of the pasture and start gathering from there. So I'll put Vixen back in the trailer here in a second. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. So Harley is a monster filly. She's here for her start. She probably has about 30 rides, you think? No, probably more than that. More than 30? Yeah. Has she pushed cows yet? No. No, this will be the first time pushing cows. We might not see any today. This pasture is so big. This is the 50 section pasture we got. <laughs> Some days we ride for days without seeing cows in this pasture. Yeah. We'll push them to a smaller pasture so we can uh, gather them all up real early one morning and brand their calves. And, okay. I oh, yeah. gotcha. That's why we want them in a smaller pasture. So it's quicker to gather them up and brand them. Okay. I'll, I'll park at the windmill and see you guys around. Okay. Okay. See ya. Good amount right here, good little herd. Harley's first time gathering cattle. I think she's in love. I think she feels the same way I do about gathering cattle. I wanna do it every day. Tree. I can't tell what it is. It's like a thing they grinded corn on or something back in the day. The Anasazi, maybe. It is dished. That's cool. Treasure. Okay, friends, here we are at the windmill. See that? We call that the windmill. <laughs> Has no windmill. <laughs> but we know where we're talking about, I guess. Okay. 
I'm gonna get Vixen tacked up and we're gonna start pushing from this side. The guys are behind me pushing from that side and we'll just meet up in the middle. Oh, and yes, we're in the maroon truck. It does good sometimes. And sometimes it doesn't. Today, it's doing good, so we hooked it up. <laughs> okay, I've got Vixen tacked up. I have the GoPro on. And Loki's ready to go. <laughs> and I need one more thing. Water. I think today's gonna be a pretty long ride. So I'm gonna take two bottles of water and put them in my uh, in my boot pouch right here. Can't do this one-handed. Okay, so I dropped the guys off at um, three corners at about 11.30. So we'll see what time we get done today. It's a nice day, 70 degrees right now. It's supposed to get up to 77. We haven't really been this warm all year, so it's kind of nice but it's a windy day. All right, Vixen, let's go. Loki, where he went. Okay, we found our first two cows. There's a lot more right in front of us to the, I don't know, I guess our 10 o'clock. So we'll start pushing everything now. We're all the way on the north side. The guys are all the way on the south side. And the wind just comes and goes. So right now it's gone, so. I can talk. <laughs> and Henson texted me this morning after they went and checked water. They're digging up a whole pipeline. They had to replace the whole thing because it got washed out. I'll show you some of that footage. Uh, anyway, they did that this morning and then Henson texted me and said, we need to gather nine mile. That's all the text said. <laughs> and when when he sends that text that means I need all the help I can get so I finished up all the stuff I was doing at home and got ready for this long ride Swap Bronx. I didn't trigger now. Well, all right, guys, we're at five miles just now. Uh, I got everything all on that side, on the north side, and we're headed down into the Badlands now. Uh, there's a natural spring down here that I'll kind of show you guys. And I saw the guys switch horses way off in the distance where I had parked the truck so um, they're probably bringing their bunches from that side and getting a fresh horse.
I know, for lost. I saw both of you right there. Well, doesn't mean it can't be lost. It's big pasture, 50 sections. You could get lost in it. Well, we made it to the corrals. Now we got to ride back up to the top. My watch says to here was 8.8 .8 miles. So we'll probably ride, I don't know, two, three miles back to the truck. I don't know where Troy is. <laughs> Some people might say that Trigger is a Carmelo or Perlino. Yeah. But he's not. Huh. Well, AQHA said he's not. Pretty soon they're going to have different colors for Palomino, just like Rhone's. It used to just be Rhone. And now there's Bay Rhone, Blue Rhone, Red Rhone, Brown Rhone. <laughs> soon there's going to be different Palominos. I don't know what, but... Soon there's going to be a name for a Palomino with silver Soon there's going to be a name for a lesbian horse. Oh my gosh. We're almost to the truck, guys. Almost. And then we have to go get my treasure I found. Oh, did you find treasure? Yeah, I found treasure. Now, some might say, how do you find all this treasure? Man, I am prepared every day to find treasure. I'm outdoors every day. And it's the number one thing about finding treasure is attitude. I have the attitude to find it. But I know I'm gonna find something every day. <laughs> now it doesn't happen every day, but I'm I'm prepared. And um, yeah, I knew I was gonna find something because I was high up on the ground or off the ground. You know, I'm prepared. I'm riding a horse. I know that I'm a little bit higher. I can see whatever I'm, you know, going over for sure. And also. That's, that was somebody's junk. That wasn't really, really actually treasure. Oh. Yeah. That grinding stone was somebody's junk. They threw it out. Right. They got a better one. They went and got a Paula Deen. Is it Paula Deen? Is that a Paula Deen or? <laughs> Pioneer woman. Pioneer woman. They're like, man, I'm done with this one. I'm going to get a new one. They threw it in the junk pile. Somebody's junk is somebody's treasure. Yeah, I heard that one before. Yeah, mm -hmm, it's true. Just like Danielle. What? She was somebody's junk, but then she was my treasure. <laughs> Somebody broke up with Danielle at one time. And I thought, man, that's the treasure right there. <laughs> I can't even hold the phone. <laughs> hey, hold the phone. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I gotta turn this off. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, she's my treasure. <laughs> I didn't yeah, expect That's what I said. I said you were my treasure. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I was expecting that to be the first thing. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, shoot. Some mother's man's junk was my treasure. I, I, all the time. I find people's junk all the time and making it my treasure. Ah, shoot. Just like Kathy. That was somebody's <laughs> junk, man. I'm freaking out. That's the best thing that happened to me. Literally, guys, he's been saying that the last month or so. Yeah. <laughs> Kathy's the best thing oh, that's happened to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> so where's Troy? He's still a cowboy. Okay. Don't worry about him. He's all right. 
Okay, we're almost to the trailer, guys. Let me flip the camera. <laughs> there it is. My popcorn is in that pickup. <laughs>